What's up, guys? You know the deal. <laughs> My words are selfless, unforeseen, and unblameable. <laughs> Your Geodude's sacrifice was the ultimate act of selflessness in a twist of fate that you couldn't have controlled, no matter how prepared you thought you were. <laughs> <clears throat> Why? Why are you doing this? Uh, oh, good heavens, I'm feeling quite ill. You can't even begin to comprehend how powerful the walnuts are. They do grant my every wish, and, you know, maybe, maybe I do enjoy making people fall ill, we should say. Don't tell me that you... Perhaps I should give you a demonstration. Walnuts, send this man into cardiac arrest. Ah, oof, oof, ow, my heart. You fiend! <laughs> Walnuts, give this man neck pain. Ah, oof. Ooh, man, my neck hurts. I don't understand. H how how can you just do this to these people? You are responsible for this. Nuh-uh. You are literally killing that man. No, I'm not. He just had a heart attack. Yeah, that you gave him. Okay, but I'm not a heart attack. That's, that's on him, bro. That's his heart killing him, not me. I think the walnuts are corrupting your mind. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. Well, you need to fix this now. Okay, I cast cardiac arrest. Ah! What are you doing? I I'm, I'm fixing it. I'm just killing him. That doesn't fix anything. Anything. I don't understand. He's literally like not in pain anymore. That's because you killed him. Uh, his heart killed him, not me. I don't see how you could possibly justify using this power to make people ill. Oh yeah? Walnuts? Take her out. Oh my God, you killed the Queen of England. Wow. Thank God nothing bad happens last episode. Boom. Ah. Hey, it's fucking me, Geo dude, And I'm here to punish you. But aren't you dead? It don't matter. I'm here to punish you. But, like, you can't touch me, right? It don't matter. I'm just here to tell you that I'm disappointed in you. Aw. Fuck you. Hey! I dare that coward to show his face once more. I think you can heal in this house before the forest, right? What's up, kid? Oh, are you his mother? Damn, you're so upfront about it. Yeah, let's sleep together. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling refreshed. This kid just watched me fuck his mom. <laughs> a canon event for a future cuck. Wait, there's no cut trees. Can I just like, ah, uh, Man. On words. Hello, stranger. Hey, who are you? I am the Green Power Ranger, and I would like to battle you. It feels very inauthentic for me to pretend that this fight was like even difficult, and I don't want to hype it up, so. What is more difficult, however, is having Cheryl on my team. Strategically speaking, it would be best for me to uh, finish Eterna Forest before I get my encounter, but I'm not a bitch. At least this way I get two encounters instead of one. <laughs> Time for the secret second boss fight, and I have to kill Cheryl's Pokemon all over again. Baneri, hang in there! I'll save you! Oh my god, this is huge. Yo, get this stupid ass grape off my screen. Get out of here. Okay, shit, I can't do anything about this. Uh, Baneri, please just go for an endure. You've been enduring this entire fight. Just do it again. Baneri, no, no. Cheryl, have mercy. No. I'll avenge you, my beloved. I mean, at the end of the day, at least I get a mischievous. I mean, that's not like the worst thing. Oh, it's also fairy type too, so. There is only one mandatory double battle that I have to do in a turn of forest, but even then, I can just do two single battles if I really wanted to. Aniri dying really took me out of the mood of battling, so I'm just gonna see what are the apps that I have in here. What is this? Oh my god, I have a bomb! What is this app? Uh, oh, I guess my Glaceon and Grovile do not want to smooch. Gyarados, will you smooch them? <gasps> they almost want to kiss. Kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Whoa! Okay. Come on, Cheryl, let's go to the spooky house. Oh, it sounds like there's a Pokemon in there. Oh, oh, it it does it does sound pretty scary. What if we get tricked into eating invisible food? Oh no! All right, leave. I want to go in the house. <laughs> the house isn't really spooky enough for me, so I'm just gonna draw a really spooky guy. Wait, hold up. I gotta make him a distinguished gentleman now. Oh my god, dude. My timbers are shivering. Oh, thank god. I was getting quite eepy. <sighs> me, 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 me. Ah, punished for my crimes. Ooh, a cool duskull. This guy definitely likes to eat the booty. I'm gonna come back later, though, and get my Rattam. A quick finesse of a water stone, and we finally make it to Eterna. Nice. 
God! Yo, what's up, penis? Hello, chap. Follow me. I want to show you a statue. Oh, no! It's the bad guy! Hey, kid. Hi. Did you know? Did you know that uh, this statues is not statues, but actually is a Pokemon? No. This. This is because Pokemon statue is not Pokemon. Really? But is stone and not a Pokemon. Whoa. But is also a statue. What? Stone Pokemon statue is not Pokemon, but is also stone and a statue. Wow. Goodbye, children. Um, what the Sigma? After that brief encounter, I discussed with Penis the strategies that I should take into account while doing Pokemon battles. As long as I hit all of my attacks and my opponent doesn't hit any of theirs, I should win. I'm gonna need to find this guy's dealer because whatever he's smoking, I definitely need some of it. <laughs> oh, thank you! Behind the Galactic HQ, you can find the TM for Thief, which is really good in this game because I can just start stealing my opponent's items. Nice. And next door to the Pokemon Center, we can get some fossils. The woman scientist will give me one of every fossil, and the old man is going to give me the Explorer Kit. Back to the spooky house. Oh, scary painting. Whoa, a Gengar. I, I hope I can catch. Never mind, this guy would rather kill himself than be on my team. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna thump the TV. I just gotta remind you guys once again that catching Pokemon is incredibly easy. I mean, all you gotta do is just ask them politely and they'll stay in the ball. <clears throat> Please stay in the ball. Thank you, my kind sir. He's back. My fishing encounter for Eterna City is a Poliwag, which is incredibly fortunate because I have a Waterstone, which means Big Fisty is living out their dreams. My next encounter is the hit children's game Fortnite. If you're gonna mess with me, you're going night night. And we head into Mount Coronet, but we have a to-do list. Use a Repel, Moonstone, Rock Polish. This part of Mount Coronet is actually not blocked off, so you can get Dragon Claw. It's not useful, but you can get it. We go down a floor and now I can get my encounter. I can't believe they actually gave my low tech fairy typing in this game. Prism scale, light clay, and some never melting ice. Ah, weather. I'm quite pleased to announce the encounter is a Sneasel. Got the club going up. Now, for as far as I have to go on this route, there's only one mandatory trainer that I have to fight, but unfortunately for them, my Glaceon has just now learned a special ice move. So, you know me, I love houses. Hey, Gardenia. Oinky doinky fellow trainer. Yo, aren't you Penis's dealer? He said that he would tell you to hold some stuff for me. I will meet you at the gym. If you can beat me, then I will give you half off the price of an ounce. Deal. <laughs> Hell yeah. Boo. <laughs> Pussy. I must make haste. <laughs> Yeah, so one thing I realized while I was editing the last episode is that I never actually got an encounter in Oraberg Gate. Does it really matter though? Because I end up with a Diglett on a Tuesday. It's mighty convenient that I had to come back to Oraberg to do this because now I can finally head to the museum and revive a Pokemon. I'm only gonna revive one Pokemon and I chose Aerodactyl. Though I might revive more in the future if Future Alt decides to fuck something up. Aerodactyl's cry kind of sounds like, Coming back to Eterna City, if I show this scientist my Aerodactyl, she gives me the TM for Rock Slide. But now it's time to do some prepping so I can take on the gym. Oh man, I hope the trainers in here aren't too difficult. Whenever you defeat a trainer in this gym, the clock will change hands to a different time. Whoa. Oh, we're almost there. Oh my God. The level cap for this gym is level 26, but it's kind of hard to maintain XP if there's not a strict enforced level cap. So I'm just treating level 26 as the level that my guys have to be when I enter the gym. So my Monferno is going to be level 28 because he beat the shit out of everybody. Did you enjoy riding on my big clock? Yeah, that shit got my legs shaking. Good. Now, if you would excuse me, I must smoke some grass and eat your ass. Hey, wait, look behind you. I'm not stupid. I'm not falling for that one. Shit. Well, I tried. Blossom is no match for an Aurora Beam. 
but the Berloom coming out next can easily take me out with a Mach Punch. I could just swap over to Ariados, who tanks the Mach Punch lickety split. Because Ariados has Insomnia, I can't be put to sleep with Spore, and I really don't have to worry about any of the Berloom's attacking moves other than Thunder Punch. Doesn't really matter though, because I'm just gonna take all of my health back with a Leech Life. But the sword dances are going to help because the Roserade will outspeed and kill my Ariados. Swap to Metang, tank the extra sensory, swap over to Butterfree, tank the magical leaf, and now I got to tank one sludge so I can get off a string shot. Perfect. Get nutted on. Swap back to Metang, tank a dazzling gleam, and just don't die to the magical leaf. Jesus. Huge Zen headbutt though. It's not gonna kill, but that's why we lowered Roserade's speed. Glaceon, I command you to not die. It wasn't even a crit. Okay, to be fair, I thought that Glaceon would have like an actual special defense stat, but no. Fuck you. Tangela is going to throw in a random move onto my Glaceon, so I swap into Monferno to tank it. Tangela can live a flame wheel from Gay Bowser, but is going to whiff the stun spore. That's not going to save you, asshole. Grotal comes in, so I got to send out the flying boy. I love having Thief because now I permanently have a leftovers. Aerodactyl did his job, so Aridos is just going to come in and clean up. Yoink. Cherim can't really do anything, but it has a Focus Sash, so all I gotta do is Leech Life and then finish it off with a Shadow Sneak. All right, let me get an ounce of that top shelf. All right, bet. Neat. Hey kid, I wasn't gonna beat your ass, but I see you have the second gym badge, so I guess I'll work your shit. Oh yeah? Take this. Uh, Damn, this kid's got hands. Ugh, I'll teach you a lesson, grunt. Ah, uh, hello, my friend, it's me. I am currently undercover doing some research. Have you found anything out that might aid us in the battle against evil? These Team Galactic baddies are outstanding, and I must say that their booties are out of this world. Okay, I just gotta beat up some scrubs and make my way to the top floor. I am here to save the day. A Golbat on the lead. There's only one man for the job. Ah! Rock Slide is enough to take him out. No need to risk Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl can take care of this Tangela. Just gonna do a little dancey dance and call it a day. Hey! It's funny because the Sableye has a Citrus Berry, but I'm just gonna thief and take it and eat it right in his face. Yummy. I'll just finish you off with a Leech Life. Perish. Ah, shit. No, not a night slash. Ow, ooh, ooh, ow. Get the fuck out of my face. Team Galactic has fled, but they left behind a Porygon. I will come back for you. Oh, hey again, Cynthia. Mm, egg. I'll have to come back for this egg. Not only do I need to remember to go get the Porygon, but it's time that I introduce my Rotom to some appliances. Just interact with this random ass piece of the wall and boom, secret Home Depot. Based off of how my box is currently looking, I think that going with the washing machine is gonna be my best bet. Oh, hey. Hey, Professor. Did you put your Rotom in one of these appliances? Yeah, I went with the washing machine. I thought it'd be good type coverage for me. Nice, nice, nice. So like, um, what if instead of a washing machine, it was your mom? Okay. And instead of Rotom going in, uh huh. it was my R. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, my bad. Don't worry, I made sure to pick up all of the items from the building. And of course, that means my boy Perk 30. Oh, and the Togepi from Cynthia. I gotta name him though. Um, you know what? He do kind of be looking like a Bartubius. By heading back into a turn of forest, I can head over to the mossy rock and grab a leaf stone. Now I can evolve my eggs. It is time to go down the cycling road. This is how a pro avoids all the trainers. <laughs> Get juked. Oh, ah, your ankles have been broken. Hoo, ha, he, ha. Flawless. You already know where I'm heading, but first I'm going to get an encounter. Ah, he's returned. Yo, what up, man? And now we go in the super secret under the bridge cave. You know, contrary to popular belief, this is actually my Nuzlocke and I make the rules. So welcome Zubat to the team. But there is something cool at the very end. There's no more TM for Earthquake here, but instead we get a static Gabite encounter. Now this is epic. Uh-oh.
I regret to inform you, the viewer, that we did not catch the Gabite. I should really go get some Pokeballs. Stores are only selling Pokeballs and the special ones are way overpriced? What the hell, man? Now I gotta go fight Mira. Hold up, guys. I need to cope for this fight real quick. I'm just gonna put something on screen. Uh, okay, there we go. Somehow an Iron Head from uh, Matang is not enough to take out the Togetic, so Matang is punished with Confusion. Don't care. Confusion is a myth. We always hit through. I bring an Ariados to tank whatever the Haunter throws at me. I just yoink his shit and put him in the ground. I mean, hey, free spell tag. Cadaver's gonna come in next, so I swap over to Matang. I can tank the Psybeam, and I can tank the Grass Knot before hitting him with an Iron Head. All these NPCs are fucking cowards using potions. I'd gone for a Bullet Punch this turn. I should have just gone for an Iron Head. I hit the Cadaver with a second Bullet Punch, and it's not enough to take him out. So now I just gotta lift the Grass Knot. <laughs> okay, get out of my lobby. I swap to Mistrevious, but the Porygon whiffs his charge beam. I'm not even going to pretend like I know what I was doing or thinking at 2, 3 in the morning playing this game. But yeah, uh, Executor comes in and I guess I just kind of forgot about the existence of Signal Beam. Um, I just hope that nobody watching has an attachment to Executor, but I doubt it. This Pokemon is fucking stupid. I have nobody to blame except for myself. After I finish escorting Mira's dumbass through this cave where we aren't required to fight any trainers, I receive the TM for Dazzling Gleam. Yeah! <gasps> Shiny claws, baby. <laughs> oh. The Magmi just kind of fainted? It must be a glitch. Onwards to the next city. Stop right there, friendo. Parentheses walk slowly with my fists clenched with rage, parentheses. Hey, man, do you need something or... I need to discipline you, kitten. What? In a battle. Oh. You know the deal. Fake out, flamethrower. He's dead. Oh, whatever. I would like to imagine that there's only genuinely one person in the world that likes Licky Licky, and I would put money on the facts that they work at Game Freak. Sorry, got off topic. Owie. Just performing my due diligence and stealing yet another leftovers. Owie. But now it's a guaranteed win because the Licky Licky can't touch my Miss Magius, so I can just kind of sit here and kill him slowly no matter how long it takes. I just kind of assume that I can get a Shadow Ball off and tank at least one hit from the Grand Bull. Yup, Metang comes in, tanks the Thunderfang, and then we beat his ass. Oh, crap. <laughs> Never punished. Calculated. It doesn't even matter that there's a Grotal in the back because we just bring in the Aeridos to tank whatever he throws at me, and then he just goes down to some leech lives. <laughs> yup. Parentheses, frowns, and wallows in self-pity parentheses. I mean, all right. Mountain. Oh, hello, evil man. Out of my way. It's happy hour at Femboy Hooters. And now we're on to Route 208, and I will say that this is probably one of my more favorite routes. And it's not just because I get the TM for Swords Dance. There's also a sketchy guy in the corner that gives you the odd keystone. I just make sure to grab the berries up top, and then I get my encounter. You know, a, a barrel's pretty good if it has simple, but uh, this one ended up having unaware. Honestly, I think you deserve your fate. I'm so glad everybody forgot about the fact that my Exeggutor died. <laughs> Psych. Damn it. I'm just stopping by to tell you that one, you're a bitch. Hey. Two, before you can do the next gym, you must win a beauty contest. Do I have to? <sighs> okay. Yeah, well, he said. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Well, I guess we press onwards. Oh, hi there. Oh, hey, you kind of look like someone who enjoys bugs. Do you like bugs? No. <laughs> Bug time. The irony of this fight is that it's supposed to be incredibly difficult, but you know, I'm just gonna wipe your team of bugs with my bug. The Dust Ox does not have a single move that can hurt me other than Bug Buzz, but that isn't gonna do a lot. So I'm just gonna get some free swords dances. Oh, and another free leftovers. And now that Aaron is in full panic mode, now we get to have some fun. Aaron swaps out his one HP Dust stocks into a beautiful eye, but dude, I'm at plus six and I have a priority move. You're not going to win. Venomoth, whoosh. Dust Ox, whoosh. Scizor, whoosh. Drapion, oink. 
So you're an elite four member? Yeah, I think I'm just a diversity hire. I love Heart Home, bro. They got such a good little theme song here. Do, 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 my only hope going forward is that it doesn't take me multiple attempts to win a beauty contest because God, we all know how that went last time. You are not fucking for real right now. Oh. So I'm confident that this won't be an issue. Bye. Wobbledy wobbledy wob. Wobble wobble wobbledy 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 wobble wobble wobbledy wobbledy wob.